We begin with South Korea's analysis of North Korea's rocket engine test on Sunday. The South Korean military says the test demonstrates, quote, meaningful progress in North Korea's rocket engine technology. But officials also noted the North has yet to secure the most complex step needed for a fully operational long range missile. Our Kim Hyun Bin explains. Following North Korea's new high thrust rocket engine test on Sunday, it's widely believed the North has mastered many core technologies, including rocket engine, propulsion, and missile separation. North Korea appears to have tested one main and four sub-engines that are connected to make a new rocket engine. We believe North Korea has made some progress in terms of its engine capabilities. However, military experts believe Pyongyang has not yet secured the most complex step in missile reentry technology. Such technology allows an ICBM to successfully re-enter the Earth's atmosphere with no damage to the warhead. An ICBM with a range of 1,000 kilometers re-enters the atmosphere at an average speed of 24 miles, or some 30,000 kilometers an hour, and the warhead has to endure temperatures of more than 7,000 degrees Celsius. While this hole in the North's technical ability buys the U.S. and its allies some time, experts agree the regime will eventually acquire the re-entry technology and have a deliverable ICBM within five years. Once the technology is mastered, a North Korean ICBM can target the west coast of the mainland United States. U.S. officials have said that as Pyongyang gets closer to having a deliverable nuclear weapon, Washington should be ready to take preemptive measures. North Korea has conducted six ICBM tests since 1998, accumulating a high degree of know-how and technology over the years. Kim Ha-bin, Arirang News.